Do you want to learn more about the good news and the exciting inheritance that you are going to receive? Well then carry on watching. Hello and welcome to day 15 of Bible Study to Christmas, a series where I make a variety of little Bible study chats so that we can dig a little deeper into our Bibles this festive season. If you're new here, my name's Mache and I make a variety of videos and recently some faith-based content starting with this series. This week we are going through the topic of Christ Gives and if you haven't seen the previous videos in the previous sections make sure to go check those out, they will either be linked above or below. And as always feel free to comment down any questions or points that you would like to add or even critiques, just make sure to be kind to everyone in the comments as this is a learning and growing environment for us all. Warning, I am by no means a theology expert, the things I say in my videos are purely just my own perceptions of what I'm reading, along with guidance from sources that I find. So without any more babbling, grab your Bibles and let's go. Today we will be doing a short little reading from Galatians 4 verses 1 to 7. Think of it this way, if a father dies and leaves an inheritance for his young children, those children are not much better off than slaves until they grow up, even though they actually own everything their father had. They have to obey their guardians until they reach whatever age their father set, and that's the way it was with us before Christ came. We were like children, we were like slaves to basic spiritual principles of this world. But when the right time came, God sent his son, born of a woman, subject to law. God sent him to buy freedom for us who were slaves to the law so that he could adopt us as his very own children. And because we are his children, God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, prompting us to call out, Abba, Father. Now you are no longer a slave, but God's own child. And since you are his child, God made you his heir. So in this reading, Paul is delivering an analogy to the Galatians of a child and their inheritance. See, as long as the child is under age, they don't own anything and basically are on the same level as a slave. But only when they are old enough will they reap. So let's dig a little deeper. Now, this passage doesn't mention a specific age of a child, but rather it's an idea of early on in life and later on in life. So we are very much like the children that are mentioned in verse 4 of this passage. We are the children of God through faith in Jesus and therefore we are also his heirs. Before Jesus, we were slaves to pagan religion and karma. Even in current times, before we have Jesus in our lives, we may be slave to other things in our lives that cause us harm. See, God waited for the right timing to send Jesus for our redemption so that we could be adopted as his own sons and daughters. He gave us salvation and a relationship with him. And it's important that these two things go hand in hand. In verse 7, it is just reiterated again that we were first set free from the slavery and then we were declared as God's family. So this extract and this video are probably going to be much shorter than the previous videos that I've made, but I thought it was important to keep it simple so that the good news could really just sink in. As a side note though, I, you've probably noticed that these extracts talk a lot about slavery and it may seem like insensitive analogies, but considering this, the timeline that this was written in, it would have been a well understood analogy and still today this analogy is quite easy to understand. God's timing is always perfect whether it is sending Jesus to earth to free us or even into our lives today. Ultimately, we will never reap the freedom and the gift that we have given until we come to the right age spiritually. And of course, this would not be bound to a specific age because we are all in different places in our spiritual lives. This reading just left me in absolute awe 
To realize the privilege that we have been freed from the bondage of sin and evil and we have been accepted as God's child on top of this all. Thank you for sitting through this nice and short little study with me today. I hope that it touched you in some way and that you feel the same awe that I do reading this. Please subscribe to stay tuned for this series so that you can be notified every single day when I post a video and you can do your Bible study. We are just over halfway. I'm so excited of how well it's gone so far. And if you have any questions or points that you would like to add, please comment them down below. Also comment down your favorite verse or point that you took from today's video. I would love to hear your perspectives. As always, have a beautiful and blessed day and I will see you for day 16 of Bible study to Christmas. Bye!